uh, we have yet another IT major HCL tech that is set to post its quarterly earnings today. My colleague Rucha joins in uh, to talk about the seasonal headwinds that will continue. Uh, Rucha, are we expecting another muted quarter for the IT giant? Yes, you're right. Uh, HCL Tech is set to report its results right now uh, after 3.30, of course, but uh, it likely will be a laggard amongst all its other peers. Let me talk to you about the numbers. Now, revenue is expected to fall around 1.6%. EBIT may also fall around 4.1% to a 17% of margin uh, versus 17.6% of margin in the last quarter. Net profit is also expected to fall around 3.5%. Now, all of this is because of the seasonal headwinds which the company might face and also because of shoring of a large deal that can impact the margins as well. Now if we talk about the first quarter expectations from brokerage houses, most of the brokerage houses expect, actually all of the brokerage houses expect a negative growth while the, the average is around 1.9%. Talking about the margins, margins likely to remain around 17% as I rightly mentioned. Talking about guidance now, this is the major thing to watch out for. The company had guided for uh, the company had guided for a, a, a three to five percent of constant currency revenue growth, and most of the brokerage houses believe that the company will maintain this guidance, except JP Morgan, which expects HCL Tech to slightly uptick its revenue guidance to around four to five percent. Talking about the margin guidance, the company had guided for a 18 to 19 percent of a margin guidance. Again, most of the brokerage houses expect HCL Technologies to maintain this kind of guidance. Now, key things to watch out for is, of course, the FY25 revenue guidance and also the discretionary demand trend, which TCS today mentioned that no, demand is likely the same, but FY25 is going to be better than FY21. So, what is HCL Technologies talking about the demand is another thing to be watched out for. Uh, the growth in ERD space, specifically for HCL Technologies, is again on the radar of investors. And, of course, the generative AI, whether such kind of deals are being converted into revenue or not, is another point to be watched out for. Right, thank you so much, Rucha, for that uh, 